Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is a Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and over. So today, um, on Wednesdays, I like to do a show called Freeform Dreadlocks and cannabis, and it's not every single Wednesday, but I like to do it on Wednesday. Um, yeah, I talk about my freeform dreadlock journey, which I've been on for 19 years. I talk about how cannabis has helped me with, um, it's a helper. It helps you to feel this bliss and peacefulness and beauty within about yourself, and it radiates on the outside. And uh, what, what ends up happening is you feel more confident about how you look on the outside, how your hair, go how my hair goes out of my head, at least this is my experience. I can't speak for everybody that smokes cannabis. Um, what I want to do today is share a subscriber uh, viewer's question today and I'll get into that in just a minute. Before that I want to have a little smoke session with you guys. I have some super silver haze. See that there. If you can see it inside there and I'll take it out of here <laughs> it's a uh, yeah it's it's a very good strain and I did a review on it so if you want to check that out please do so and yeah, load this bowl up hope you guys are having a great day today cheers <laughs> oh it's nice so here's the question that I that I have. It's over your 19 years of wearing freeform dreadlocks, have you received more positive feedback from Africana slash black people or European slash white people or any other ethnic group? So I've I have talked about these experiences I've had uh, with my freeform dreadlocks and how people react to them in previous videos on my Dark Moon Doll channel and a little bit on this channel, I believe, also. So if you want to look on my Dark Moon Doll channel, you can, you know, get more insight on uh, all the experiences, well, not all of them, but most of the experiences I've had with how people react to me and my freeform dreadlocks. Um, I'll recall, I'll just recount one specific incident that happened to me when I was working at a health food store years ago. <laughs> so I was working at this health food store, I was a cashier, and this woman, a young woman, white woman, European, whatever you want to call her, white European um, woman comes through my line and um, she has dreadlocks. They look fine to me, whatever, you know, these dreadlocks. And then um, she purchases her food and then leaves. And the next people that are in line is this older white couple. And the older white couple uh, looks at me and says, you know, doesn't it bother you that white people, you know, when they decide to wear dreadlocks, because that hairstyle belongs to to people like you and I the my first response was no I feel like people should be free to have their hair the way that they want their hair to be and they were just so shocked by that statement they were shocked that I would say something like that they were like they were unprepared oops <laughs> they were unprepared by you know what they expected me to just agree I guess you know and I don't know, that just feels like a division that wants to keep on existing between the races. And it's like this whole black and white. Well, obviously I'm not black, you know, like the, the real color of black, black, coal. <laughs> and obviously white, most white people aren't white. Well, some white people are really pale, <laughs> but most people aren't as white as a sheet of paper. So that in itself the category of black and white naming people that is so very limiting especially since most people have a mixture of uh, races within them there's just one race that a lot of times will stick out prominently so that's the one that most people identify with I 
that's what I'm seeing, you know, mostly with people. So another, um, another experience I had, um, was, and I think I related, I talked about this either on this channel or my other channel about, um, these two black women, they had straight processed hair, like relaxed hair, and I could hear them whispering and talking about me. I could hear it. And then I look over at them and they just kind of are looking at me like they're disgusted. <laughs> and, uh, a lot of the times when I go out, I don't have my hair covered. Uh, sometimes I'll wear a hat, but uh, a lot of the times I just wear my hair out because I like for my scalp to be able to breathe uh, and my hair to move the way it wants to move <laughs> without any constriction as much as possible. Um, but yeah, I felt that. I was like, wow, that's intense. But you know, as the years go by, you know, that protection that's around me gets stronger and stronger to the point where this negativity just bounces right off of me. Because, <clears throat> like, the more that you feel positive about yourself, you don't give, you don't really care what other people think about your decisions that you make in life. Because you know that the decisions that you're making aren't hurting anyone. And if anything, they're making you healthier. So. And I'll tell you too, uh, my own mother, when she was alive, she didn't like my hair. <laughs> That's the ironic thing about it. She says, I want to get dreadlocks, but not like those things you have on your head. So, I mean, or some sort of, to some degree, that's what she said. Um, so, yeah, you just have to be really strong within what it is that you know is your, your path that you're walking, your spiritual path. At least for me, that's my experience with it. And I'd say I had overall more positive uh, reactions from European white people than Africana black people. Uh, there's a lot of people with my skin tone and my hair texture that don't really do not like the way that they look. They have this negative feeling about themselves. They have this constant need to be exactly like, you know, a European white American person. They want to look like that. And we all know that. We see it in uh, media. We see it in popular culture with black women bleaching their skin and pressing their hair and wearing we weaves of straight hair. For me, that kind of thing, if I were to tr do that to myself, that's very oppressive because that's denying myself of who I am. And I'm I'm not interested in doing that. And that's my viewpoint based on my own personal experience and what I'm here to do. Um, not everybody has that path to walk, so. So thank you, uh, subscriber and viewer, for uh, posing this question to me. It's a very deep question. And it's a question that uh, should be asked by, you know, a lot of people. And you're not going to hear a lot of this type of information in mainstream. Uh, when people are first starting on the freeform dreadlock journey, they get so much bombardment of information. But what I suggest that everyone who's starting on a freeform dreadlock journey do, not really look at everything that I'm telling you, saying that works for me. Get yourself outside and meditate in nature and listen to your higher self. <clears throat> and then those messages that you get, positive messages, will guide you on your freeform dreadlock journey. Cannabis is a plant helper. It's a teacher, it's a guide. And through intention, before you smoke, if you think of something before, something positive that you want to get out of this medicine, then it will help guide you and also will help guide you through your freeform dreadly, dreadly, <laughs> your freeform dreadlock journey. It'll help guide you through it and um, just be strong within yourself and what you know is right for you.
So thank you everybody for joining me today for today's cannabis and freeform jet lag talk. <laughs> this is pretty nice, this uh, strain. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you, thank you for people liking and sharing my videos with your friends and family. Because this is information that not everybody knows about and would want to know about. <laughs> Yeah, and thank you so much for the, your comments. I really appreciate the questions because this channel is not just about me. It's about you and what you want to learn about as well. So keep putting your questions down in the comment section below, and I can continue to make videos about specific topics that you want to, you know, dive into. Alrighty, guys, thank you for joining me today. Have a great day. Get outside of Mother Earth and love yourself. Peace.